how to color grade your photo using a LUT is our Luminar Coffee Break topic. Let's see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Hello everyone. So our topic today is how to color grade our image using a LUT. And a LUT stands for lookup table. All right, and it's typically used in the cinema world, in the cinema fields, to where they take the film and they color grade it. Photographers thought it looked really cool, so we started to incorporate these. A LUT is nothing more than changing the colors of your image and setting a mood. So, what we did over here is under the creative tools, we have the mood tool. And the mood tool is where you'll find the LUTs. So if we click on it, now you could use the many LUTs that are built right in to Luminar AI, or you could download free ones, paid ones, or you could create your own. The sky is actually the limit for you. But let, let's just explore what we already have to see if this is something you want to add you know, to your images. All right, hello Jim, nice to see you again. All right, so let's come over here and notice that when I just hover over one of the LUTs, it changes and it gives me a preview of what the LUT looks like. Well, now, Long Beach looks pretty good. We'll keep coming down. Now, I did like 1990 and Long Beach. You know what? Let's go with 1990. Now, I have further options I can take. From here, I could change the amount and I can give it, you know, a full effect 100% or I can scale it back a bit. I'm gonna give it close to full and I just wanna up the contrast just a little bit. Now, saturation. I could desaturate it to remove some of the colors or try to bring some of the colors out without making it look oversaturated. So, that looks pretty good. All right, now that I have this set, notice I didn't do any other changes to this image. That one LUT, let's look at before and after. Look what that just did. Look how that completely changed the color space of that image. We went from here to here. All right, now I'm gonna bring back the contrast just a little bit, and let's dial it back a bit. All right, so now that I have this set, that took an entire minute to get that down to actually make the colors look really sharp, like popping off of the screen. Well, I can continue and I'm gonna add just a little Accent AI, that's my favorite, absolute favorite tool. Um, let's add a little detail to the image. And typically when you're dealing with detail, it's always good to zoom in to about 100% just to see what the effect is doing. Let's give it time to render. Okay, yep, and you can see I kind of overdid it a little bit. Let's bring it down a bit. Do I like that? And of course, I want to drop a little vignette in here. Now, I'll show you why this is so cool. And by the way, I'm going to select the center point or the subject, which is here, just to show you this. I'm going to an extreme just to show you where that vignette is going to, or where, what, what the vignette is going to affect. I just want to burn the edges just a little bit. That's good. Maybe uh, bring a little inner light to the bird. Bring them up there. Let's see if it makes a big difference. Oh, look at that. Before and after. So you see how it brought it right together? All right, so here's what's really cool. We used a LUT that was built right in to Luminar. Well, I'm gonna come down here, and now what I wanna do is save it as a new template. Now, when I save it, I'm gonna come over to my templates, and I'm gonna find that under my templates, and here it is. So let's rename it. So we use, what, 1990 as a LUT? So I could rename this, let's say, um, uh, more earth tones? Nope. 
not really more earth tones. I know I want to add 1990 in there because we use that as a LUT. So let's put, you know what, let's just type bird underscore 1990 because that's the LUT we used. And as a reminder, it'll be a LUT. So now that we save that, what's really neat about this, I'm going to click on these little dots right here. And I'm going to show it in Windows Explorer or in Finder. And once it comes up, you'll notice it's stored under um, user, my name, Romy, Luminar AI, data, templates, user, and here it is. Now, when I double click on this, guess what it just did for me? It created a resource. And in that resource, you guessed it, is that cube file or that LUT file. So a LUT, <coughs> excuse me, the extension, the extension, it could be cube, C-U-B-E. So what it did for us, which is really cool, is it copied that LUT to this template. So <coughs> excuse me, if we give this template to a friend, if we use it on another photo, it doesn't matter if the LUT is installed on my machine, it will automatically search the template, find this LUT right here, and it puts it all together, and then it applies it, all right? So that worked out great. I love how this looked. Now, just because it looks great here doesn't necessarily mean it's going to look great on an image like this. You know, let, let's just try it. I'm going to come to template. And here's the birds. I'm going to click on it. Give it a couple, give it a second to render. Here it is. And now I'm going to come back over to edit. And let's double check. Come down to the mood and sure enough, there it is. It added that 1990 LUT in there for me. So here's before and after. Before and after. It looks okay, but this wouldn't be one of those images I would apply it on. So why would you? Why would we create something like this? If we want to take, let's say, an entire group of images that we shot. Let's say we, we photograph birds the entire day. They all look very similar, and we want to keep it consistent. That's when we would apply that template along with that LUT to make this image really stand out. All right. So guys, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you at the next coffee break.